Hi all, welcome back to System Log sessions. In this video, I am going to discuss about program block. In the last video, I already explained what is race, how to avoid races, and System Log event regions. So, if you have not watched that video, please go and watch it before you watch the program block video. Okay, let's discuss the program block. In the last video, I mentioned that program block is used to avoid the race between design and test bench. Right. So, how the races occurs between design and test bench? Races arise when the simulation scheduling of events is not clearly defined between design and test bench. Then it leads to the non-deterministic behavior. So, to avoid this, we will use the program block. In the last video, I gave the examples for two different blocks. How the race occurs between two different blocks. Right. What is race? Race is when one or more processes is trying to update the same variable at the same time simultaneously. Then the order of execution between two blocks cannot be guaranteed. Right. The output will be depend on the order of execution. So that is race. Here you can consider that two constructs are your test bench and design. Okay. Here, here you can consider the two constructs as your test bench and design. So how the race occurs between design and test bench. I will give you an example. Okay. Consider a scenario where the DUT generates a response signal and your test bench is supposed to capture that signal and it has to perform some operation. Okay. Your DUT is generating one response signal and your test bench is supposed to capture that response signal and it has to perform some operation. Here, if the timing of the signal update in the DUT and the signal read in the test bench is not properly managed then a race condition will occur so we know that if both processes are occurring simultaneously then the order of execution cannot be guaranteed that is nothing but a race right so in order to avoid that we will use the program block we will see how the program block will manage the timing and how it uh, helps to avoid the race condition okay so a program block is a special construct used primarily for writing the test benches. Program block is used primarily for writing the test benches because we know that we use the module for writing the design part, right? So module is a basic building blocks for designs. It can have variables, ports, and it can have hierarchies of other modules, interfaces. We can write the procedural blocks, procedural statements, functions, tasks, everything we can write inside the module. So this module block works extremely well for the description of hardware. But when we are talking about the verification side, when we are talking about the test bench side, uh, the emphasis is not in the hardware level uh, details, right? But in the modeling the environment part. So we will uh, build the environment to verify the DUT. Right? We will build the environment to verify the DUT. Again, why program block? Why not module? Why program block is because all elements within the program block are scheduled to execute in the reactive region, which allows the test bench to interact with the fully settled values from the design, avoiding many common risk conditions. So in the last video, I explained module will work in the active region set and program block will work in the reactive region set work in the sense executes module block will executes in the active region set and program block will executes in the reactive region set so when we are reading the value from the module means when from the design we will get the fully settled value because in the in the active region the model will be processed right program block will be executed in the reactive region set we will get the fully settled value so it will help us to avoid the race condition Okay, so this is the main thing in program block. So it provides an execution entry point for the test bench. Program block provides an execution entry point for the test bench. So what is this execution entry point? We will instantiate the program block inside the module, right? So this program block is where the test bench logic begins to execute. That's why we call it as the execution entry point for the test bench. Program block is the execution entry point for the test bench. So inside the program block, we will drive the signals. We will generate the stimulus. So that is nothing but a test bench only. Program block, inside the program block, we will write the test bench data, test bench uh, logic we will write inside the program block. So it is the execution entry point for the test bench. And it encapsulates the test bench data in a single container. We can include the test bench data in the single program block. You can use multiple program block also, but one program block is enough to include the test bench data and together with the clocking blocks the program concept provides for race free interaction between the design and the test bench so we, together with the clocking blocks when we use the clocking block inside the program block it provides the race free interaction between the design and the test bench so how it provides the race free interaction programs that read the design values exclusively through the clocking blocks with the clocks that are design signals are insensitive to read rate traces here 
programs programs which sample or read the design values exclusively to the clocking blocks when it use the clocking blocks with the clocks that are design signals so clock is a global signal we will write in the design module also right so clocks that are design signals are insensitive to read write traces so how it insensitive to read write traces what is read write race this occurs this races occurs when a test bench reads a signal at the same time as the design is writing to it if both read and write happens at the same time it will lead to the unpredictable results because signal might not have a stable value right when it's reading that's why when we use the clocking block what happens when a program block reads the value through the clocking blocks that are synchronized to the design's clock timing will be controlled because read will happen after design has completed its task right read will happen after design has completed any writing so this prevents the test bench from accidentally reading the value while the design is still in the process of updating it right it will prevent the test bench from accidentally reading the value while the design is still in the process of updating it but without the clocking blocks also program block provides the race free interaction between the design and the test bench how because we know that model will be executed in the active region set and program block will be executed in the reactive region set so we can see the order from active region to reactive region so if the program block wants to read the value or sample the value it will get the fully settled value because first it goes to the active region set right if the uh, once the uh, once the design has completed its task of operation it will come to the reactive region set so it will get the fully settled value of the design so there will be a no race condition first of all race condition means when the order of execution is not guaranteed but here we can see the order of execution right first it first the design function will be completed then it will go to the test bench uh, side test bench means nothing but a program side so we can see the order so if you are performing read and write at the same time unit also you don't get the race condition because we can see the order all the regions are divided in the same time unit only there will be no separate timing for active region no separate timing for the reactive region in the same current time unit only all the event regions are divided so in at the same time if you are trying to perform read and write you don't get the race values because uh, there will be a order first active region will be executed then it will go to the reactive region set so here order is guaranteed when the order is guaranteed you don't get the race condition okay this is the use of program block and the syntax is like this program test here it is same as module only how we declare the uh, ports in the module similarly we have to use the program block okay it is also static in nature see input clock input in out output everything we can use here also here we can pass the interface also how we uh, do in the module similarly we can use the program block there are few key points to remember when you are using the program block we will discuss each point in this uh, slide okay a program block can contain one or more initial or final procedures but it cannot contain the always blocks udps or declarations or instances of modules interfaces or other programs that means inside the inside the program block you can use the multiple initial or final procedures but you cannot use the always block and we can't instantiate the modules interfaces or other programs this is the important thing you uh, thing to remember okay you can you cannot instantiate the module interfaces and other programs and you can't use the always block so why we cannot use the always block first of all what is the purpose of uh, program block program block is intended for the test bench to write the test right not for uh, to design the synthesizable code we will use the always block in the module side to to design the combination or sequential circuit so to to monitor that signals we will use the always block so why it is required in the um, program block right we can't use the always block and we we can terminate the processes which is uh, created by the initial block but we can uh, there will be a no way to terminate the always block right we cannot terminate the always block so if you use the dollar exit also that will terminate the processes that are created by the initial block we cannot terminate the always block it will be always running so there is no uh, need of the always block in the program block that's why we don't use the always block inside the program we can use the multiple initial or final procedures and we cannot declare the instances of module interfaces or other programs and concurrent assertions are allowed in program block we can use the concurrent assertions inside the program block but the execution will be same like a module only the sampling will be happened in prepond region and the evaluation in the observed region and the pass or fail statement in the reactive region everything will be same like a module only but we can use uh, it is allowed in the program block we can use the concurrent assertions and type and data declarations within the program are local to the program scope and have a static lifetime 
whatever the data declaration variables you write in the program block th those variables have a static lifetime that is local to the program scope only and have a static lifetime similar to the model only okay and program variables can only be assigned using blocking assignments and non program variables can only be assigned using non blocking assignments so if you want to assign some values to the program variables you have to use the blocking assignment and when you are using the non program variables that means design signals uh, you have to use the non blocking assignments okay uh, so this you have to maintain references to the program variables from outside any program block shall be an error outside any program block means inside the module inside the module if you are trying to reference to the program variable that means if you are trying to call the program task inside the module it will lead to the error so you can't reference to the program variables outside the program block but you can call the task or functions which is uh, defined in the module inside the program block okay inside the program block you can call the module methods but you cannot uh, call the program task inside the module that is one thing references to the program variables from outside any program block shall be an error i will show you this example in the code okay in the next video i will show you the all the examples and it is allowed to have any arbitrary number of program definitions or instances we can use multiple program blocks or instances just like a module program block has a ports one or more program blocks can be instantiated in a top level netlist and connected to the dut just like a module program block has ports uh, it previously i showed the how the syntax right we can it can have the ports and one or more program blocks can be instantiated in the top level netlist and connected to the dut inside the module we can instantiate the program but inside the program we cannot instantiate the module okay this is one thing uh, one or more program blocks can be instantiated in a top level netlist and connected to the dut each program can be explicitly exited by calling the dollar exit system task unlike dollar finish which exits simulation immediately even if there are pending events that means dollar exit is a system task especially made for the program block so in, if you want to terminate the program processes you have to use the dollar exit and dollar exit will be used in the initial block so whatever the processes created by the initial block that will be terminated when we call the dollar exit system task okay because when we use the dollar finish it will terminate the simulation right so whatever the ongoing processes are pending that will be terminated when we use the dollar finish so dollar finish will uh, terminate the simulation but dollar exit will terminate the program processes so now we will discuss the similarities and differences between program and module block so the first one is both modules and program blocks can be instantiated within the test bench we can instantiate the program block and module block inside the test bench and both can interface with the interface construct we can pass the interface inside the module also inside the program block also okay both can interface with the interface construct and both can have no or more inputs in out and output ports it can have no, no inputs or in out ports also it can have more inputs in out and output ports both module and program block and both can have task functions variable declaration we can declare the variables task function inside both uh, program block and module block and both can have continuous assignments initial blocks concurrent assertions clocking blocks generate blocks so we can use these blocks inside the uh, program block and module block and both can use the time related system task and control the simulation flow in both module and program block we can use the dollar stop dollar finish dollar exit okay so dollar exit we will use in the program block and the differences between program and module block are a program block cannot instantiate a module block or another program block on the opposite side a module can instantiate program block or other modules and the initial block inside the program block is scheduled in the reactive region whereas the initial blocks inside the module are scheduled in the active region so this is the important okay a program block cannot have an interface user defined primitives always block or nested program but module can have all these things and program variables can only be assigned using blocking assignment and non program variable can only be assigned using non blocking assignment but module variables can use both blocking and non blocking assignments but if you see some simulators like synopsis vcs it you can use both blocking assignment and non blocking assignment for program variables only few simulators will not support to use both assignments okay you have to use blocking assignment only for uh, assigning the Uh, values to the program variables but some simulators will support both blocking assignment and non blocking assignment and a module cannot call task or functions from the program block but a program block can call task or functions from the module so inside the module you cannot call the task or functions from the uh, program block but inside the program you can call the module task so this is the difference 
now we will see the program control task so how to control the program processes by using the system task okay in addition to the normal simulation control task such as dollar stop and dollar finish a program can use the dollar exit control task so till now we have used dollar stop and dollar finish inside the module right what dollar stop will do it will just suspend the simulation that means it will put the simulator in a interactive mode and when we call the dollar finish it will terminate the simulation it will it will exit from the simulation but a program can use the dollar exit control task to exit from the process okay when when the dollar exit is executed the whole process will be exited from the program block so each program can be explicitly exited by calling the dollar exit system task and calling the dollar exit from a thread or its descendant thread originating in an initial procedure of a program block shall terminate all initial procedures and their descendant threads within that originating program block that means when you are using the dollar exit in the initial block for example you have multiple initial blocks okay you have a three initial blocks in the program block that means in the each initial block you are performing some operation right some task or function you are doing so in the one of the initial block you are calling the dollar exit when the dollar exit statement is executed in the initial block it will terminate all the ongoing processes in the program block so you just come out of the program block even though if you have still uh, some processes when when the dollar exit is executed it will come out of the program block that means it will exit from the process but for that it has to the process has to originating from the initial block of a program block okay we we use only uh, initial block or final block right initial procedures we use in the program block so when the dollar exit is executed it will exit from the program block that's all and calling dollar exit from a thread or its descendant thread that does not originate in an initial procedure in a program shall be ignored and warning may be issued to indicate that the call to dollar exit has been ignored that means you have you are calling the dollar exit system task but not in the initial block of a program okay you are calling outside the program block let's say in the module you are calling the dollar exit so that time it will give no, no effect no effect to the program block because it will give just warning that call will be ignored and you will get the warning in the console okay i will show you this in the example so you have to call the dollar exit in the program block only that to insert the process of a initial block the thread which is originating in an initial procedure of a program block then only dollar exit will exit from the program block if you are calling outside the program block or outside the initial procedure of a program then it has no effect when all the initial blocks in a program finish that is when they execute their last statement the program implicitly calls dollar exit so we know that we use the dollar exit system task to explicitly exit it by the uh, process right but if you are not using dollar exit system task in the program block then how it will come out of the program block so it is based on the initial block when the last when the in, in the inside the initial block when it reaches the last statement and if you don't have any more initial blocks then it will come out of the program block for example if you have three initial blocks okay one initial block completed already and the second initial block is also completed last one initial block is remaining third initial block so in when it reaches the last statement when the all the processes are completed in the initial block it will come out of the program block that means it will implicitly call the dollar exit even though if you are not use a dollar exit it will implicitly call the dollar exit and it will come out of the program block so calling dollar exit causes all process spawned by the current program to be terminated when all programs exit implicitly or explicitly the simulation finishes and an implicit call to dollar finish is made so once the program blocks are exited by the uh, by implicit call or explicit call to the dollar exit the simulation will be finished and implicit call to the dollar finish is made so it will implicitly call the dollar finish and simulation will end